Hey guys, welcome to day seven of the Quantum Christmas Extravaganza. We are days away from Christmas. We got the tree, we got the vibes, and today is day seven. So day seven is all about frequency. <clears throat> so here's the thing, guys. We live in an energetic universe. Everything is energy. And when I say everything is energy, I literally mean like if you look at the smallest... Um, uh, emanation of anything there is an atom at the core of that is really just energy so everything is energy and one of the things I did when I was in high school that I really loved a lot was I studied physics I was actually one of the few girls in my class I like, think there were like two of us um, and I loved physics and for me it was like the laws of different laws of physics for example energy is neither created nor destroyed it just moves from one form to the next right and how everything is energy and all around us everything is energy so for me learning that principle and you know going on my own personal development journey and my own self-development journey it really came alive to me in many different ways when it came to manifesting because up until that point i was always like a super manifester i would manifest crazy amounts of money travels like scholarships jobs like i would manifest whatever i wanted i would just manifest it but i didn't actually understand how it was working i just knew like people, my friends were like oh my god you're so lucky you always get this you always do that i'm like yeah <laughs> but i didn't understand how it was working and when i started to understand the quantum side of physics quantum physics that's when i realized how my manifesting was actually working and so today i'm going to share with you about frequency so when it comes to frequency i want you to think of a time in your life when you were so happy and just like you were feeling yourself you were just on top of the world and it was like everything was working out in your favor like think about a time like that where like you were just on top of the world and it was just like oh my god like everything you were getting compliments you were walking it was like you were floating on air just like walking through life like a serious goddess right like oh my gosh like everything was happening in your favor i want you to think about a time like that I want you to think of a time when everything was disastrous, okay? Where there's like one bad thing after another, after another, after another. So here's the thing. Frequency, uh, the way I like to describe it is frequency is faith. So when you're believing, faith is this unwavering belief, right? Faith is the evidence of things, um, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. So when you have this faith, you are vibrating at a specific frequency and so it's it's like when you turn on your radio station right if you want to hear hot 102 and you have it on 92 fm you will never hear what is playing on hot 102 so in order to hear what is on hot 102 you have to change the dial to hot 102 fm so you can hear what is playing at that frequency at that frequency on the radio it's the same with us as human beings. So if you are resonating at, oh my God, men are dogs, nobody loves me, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna figure this out, I'll fail, what if someone judge, judges me, I'm not good enough, I'm not ready, any of these things, guess what, you're playing at 92 FM, even though what you really want, which we talked about in one of the previous days, is to have love, abundance, success, happiness. Like, even though you want that 102, uh, hot 102 FM lifestyle, you're resonating as a 92 FM. So you're like ways away from getting there. So what has to happen is you have to calibrate your frequency. And the way you calibrate your frequency is through feeling. You see, your body doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality, right? It doesn't know that, have you, like, for example, if you think about like your favorite food or think about a smell that smelled terrible it's kind of like as you're thinking about it you can start to smell it or as you um think about that favorite thing it's kind of like you can taste it and you feel your body do all the emo do all the movements and everything and your body starts to secrete all these neurotransmitters that really allow you to come alive with what it is you're feeling with the memory of that time and so if you can transport yourself to the future version of you who has it and feel in that way, your body will not know the difference. And so what has to happen is as you're doing that, that is how you begin to resonate yourself in a frequency level. Um, some people do, you know, mon um, some people adjust their frequency through meditating, journaling, praying, you know, having certain rituals, playing music, dancing. 
it all works there's no one way to do it but one of the powerful things about being able to use your mind to transport yourself to that moment in time is that you don't need any external stimulus you could be in your bed laying down and you're thinking out you're not even in the room you're like oh my gosh i'm so happy i'm so in love like you know you're transporting yourself to that moment in time so that's what i want you to work on today i want you to really think about what future self do you want to manifest um don't don't think there's any limits there's no limit like which future self do you really want to manifest and i want you to like feel literally feel in your body how it would feel now i remember the first time when I was, not first time, like I've done this several times throughout my life and didn't even realize because I would be thinking, oh my God, I'm going to go to this university or oh my God, I'm so going to get this scholarship and I would feel as if I'm getting it and my mind would believe, oh my God, I'm getting it. And so then I would end up doing all the actions. Remember we talked about actions yesterday and the actions would help me to actually manifest it, right? Um, but it starts with the feeling. So here's what I want you to do for your homework for today. I want you to pick a future time. I want you to pick a version of you, whether it's the you that has the partner or the you that has a loving relationship, the you that gets along with your family or has family that you love, the you that has the money, the you that has the home. I want you to think about that version of you and I want you to start feeling like her. I, I want you to like sit in the posture like how she would sit, how she would sit, talk how she would talk, walk how she would walk. I want you to start embodying and living in the feeling of her. I mean, tomorrow we're gonna to talk about maintaining the frequency because we all know what it is to be like on a high, but then life has its ups and downs. And it's like, you know, I was on a good place and then I fell off the wagon, right? I was doing it great and then I fell off the wagon. So tomorrow we're gonna to talk about, um, you know, maintaining the frequency because the manifestation happens when you maintain the frequency until the manifestation is received, right? So you can't just, for two minutes of the day, you're like, hey, I'm feeling this way and expect that you're gonna speed up the manifestation. You will eventually still manifest, but it will take time because the manifestation comes with the frequency. And sometimes too, when you are thinking about that future self, you may find different limiting beliefs or blocks or doubts come up. This is actually good because now you know what is stopping you from having what you want. You know, you now know what is self-sabotaging you. So I remember in 2017 or 16, 16 or 17, I think it was 2017, Carla and I, we were looking at um, multi-million dollar homes and we we're like, wow, you know, just like playing in our minds of what's possible. And as we were looking at these homes, there was this one that had like a helicopter pad. And I just remember thinking, oh my God, I would never want a house like this. Oh, it's too much responsibility. And I felt my body shrink, my stomach shrink. And I, and I thought about, wow, I think that having wealth would mean I would have a lot of responsibility. And I was like, wow. And so even though having wealth is something that I do want, having a really great home is something that I desire more than anything, like having a nice home, not just a house, physical space, but meaning a home that feels like home. That's one of my favorite things in the world. Even though that was a desire of mine, I had this belief that in order to acquire a certain type of home or a certain type of lifestyle, I would be stressed and burnt out and have so much responsibility and then I would hate my life, right? So why would I manifest it? Because my frequency is like 102, 92, 102, 92. So I'm nowhere, I'm not getting what I want and I'm not living in the, the same realm of where I am. I'm just glimpsing. I'm kind of like having a good month in my business and it's like, okay, it's not so good. And then I'm like, I'm oh, having success. And then I'm like, oh my God, I don't want it. Right? So it was just like this constant roller, 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 roller coaster. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, um, roller, roller, roller coaster <laughs> of ups and downs, right? And so what I want you to see is that like, think about that future time period, but then also see what resistance comes up when you think about it like oh but I can't do that but I'm not ready oh but I need to learn something more or but I'm not Tony Robbins and I'm not blah 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 because I remember even 2017 again that was like a big year for me with with a lot of this stuff I remember I was going to be writing my first ever book and I was like freaking out I remember saying to my book coach at the time I'm like I'm not Tony Robbins I can't do this I'm not ready who am I to become a best-selling author funnily enough I to the actions anyway, I allowed myself to resonate into the frequency of what it would feel like to actually be an author and a best-selling author at that. And I did it, I took the actions. I resonated into the frequency, but then I allowed myself to take the actions. But I couldn't have taken it if I didn't 
have the awareness of what those limiting beliefs were because I would be writing the book and I would never complete the book because the beliefs were that you're not good enough, you're not ready yet. So I just want you to see that like frequency is faith and frequency, you, you resonate into a frequency through the use of feeling. Your feelings in your body does not, your body doesn't recognize whether it's an, a feeling of um, reality or imagination. That's why a lot of times if somebody pissed you off and you're relaying the situation to a friend, it like stirs up all the anger again and the emotion. It's because feelings don't, don't, con don't conform to the time definition that we have in our 3D world. Feelings are fluid, feelings are frequency, feelings are, you know, frequency. And frequency is faith. So I just want you to realize this concept when it comes to frequency. And then in tomorrow's video, we're going to talk about how to maintain the frequency. Because the truth is, if you... Everybody can feel good for five minutes. Everybody can feel good for five minutes. And of course, feeling good for five minutes is great because it's a step in the right direction. But if you really want to manifest what you want, you have to learn to live in the state of the person who has what you want and so we're gonna talk about that tomorrow and then on the last day we're gonna after we talk about this whole frequency stuff we're gonna then wrap up i'll have q a so if you have any questions at all please leave them in the comments below and i will collect them all on days 9 10 and eight, oh no days 10 11 and on day 12 and everything and we will collect all the questions and i will do the last videos with your q a so if you have any questions on this topic ask them in the comments and also share with me in the comments as well an experience that you may have had in the past where maybe you felt good for a moment but then you fell off the wagon or a time where you like felt really good about something and then you just had all these good things happening um and let me see your experiences and your examples in the chat as well or in the comments so thank you so much for watching guys i am your girl chanel official and i want to say thank you for being a part of this extravaganza as we close off this year this chapter this decade you know whatever whatever milestone you're closing off in your life i'm so happy to be a part of this with you and i can't wait to see you in the next video um and of course one of the things i have not said in this series that i'm like oh my god i should totally tell you guys to do this is that if you are not a part of my e-squad check the link in the description there's a link to get a free audio but you'll also become a part of my hashtag hot squad where you get to get any like updates and stuff via emails and free gifts and other trainings and offers and all kinds of stuff like that and then, of course, obviously, you want to subscribe, like, share, comment, follow, do all the things that you know you got to do so that you stay up to date with the juice and the tea that is to come. All right. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you soon.